Hello, React Native developers. What is going on? William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Today, I wanted to make a video for React Native Elements users on the topic of how to build, once you get React Native Elements, how to build a seed project uh, from it. And the reason I wanted to make this video is because when you get React Native Elements, you are offered with a screen that there is essentially five demo apps, but you only want to build one app. So what, what do you need to do in order to have like the, a good seed project um, for your app? So let's say, so all the UI components are available in source slash components. And then you have one folder per, uh, per small app. So we have one for the welcome screen, one for the travel app, one for the social app, and so on. If, let's say, I want the social app to be my uh, starting point for my app, I can just remove all the other folders because essentially, like for instance, the travel folder only contains the API sample data and the screen definition for that app. So maybe you want only to keep social and in the components folder, you have all the UI components across all apps available. So you still can use, let's say, if you want to use UI components from the music app, you can still do it if you remove these folders. And quickly in the components folder, you have at the root of the folder, you have all the UI components which are used across all apps. And then in folders named music, uh, food, uh, photography, and so on, you have UI components which are specific to that theme. So for instance, in photography, you have like the image uh, filtering, image rotation, image cropping UI components. And in the app, so that's for the source folder. And in the app.js, we load the, our assets, fonts, icons, images, we display the splash screen while it's loading. And if it's loading, we have the main app navigator, which starts with the welcome screen where you select your app. So if you, so this is a fresh copy of React Native Elements. So if you just download, downloaded the project or get it through GitHub, what you want to do essentially, I think, is to remove this main navigator and to use, to select only one of these five apps. So let's say I want my starting point for my project to be the social app, but it could be, you know, maybe it could be the music app or it could be the photography app. But let's say for this example, I want the social uh, app. I can select the navigator, put it here as my main app navigator. So this one I don't need anymore. And here it is. And so you see now it's blue because it's using the default theme color, which is set here. And you can, you can change it, of course, programmatically. And you can see in the welcome.js, you have an example of, or you can programmatically switch the theme colors and you can extend the theme class to provide some other theming values. Nowadays, for instance, it's very trending to do a dark and light mode. So my, maybe that's one thing you want to do. And in the app.js, you have the theme provider. So which we use, you might build your app and be like, oh, I don't need a theme provider. I don't need a light or dark mode. I don't need any, uh, my theme is going to be static. So this is fine. So you could remove it, but beware that uh, some UI components depend on this uh, theme provider. So just beware if you if you decide to use a, a static theme. And in fact, if you look at the theme provider, it's using style guide. Style guide is essentially a static theme, and then theme is uh, theming values which are dynamic, which you can set through the context. But then in style guide you have essentially uh, values which are like the typography, which cannot be dynamically change, changed. So, so this one you can remove, but be careful. Then there's a player provider, which is to play audio across different screens. If you're, you don't need this, you can remove it. 
And yeah, so I hope you find this video helpful and to get started building a seed project. Let me know if you have uh, any questions. You can post uh, your questions on GitHub or reach me by email. And in the meantime, happy hacking. And yeah, I hope you have fun with it.